A new study from a left-leaning Ivy League university found that white liberals actually dumbed down their language when talking to black people, whereas white conservatives were found to talk the same to everybody. Now remind me again who the real racists are here. Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes. Welcome back to MRC TV, and how's this for a reality check? According to a new study out from Yale University, white liberals actually dumb down the way they speak when talking to minorities by intentionally using smaller and simpler words that they think minorities will be more likely to understand. Conservatives, on the other hand, use the same language no matter who they're talking to. Don't take it from me. In a study that they plan to publish in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, Yale actually found that, quote, white liberals tend to downplay their own verbal competence in exchanges with racial minorities, compared to how other white Americans act in such exchanges. Here's how it went down. For part of their study, Yale researchers analyzed the words used in campaign speeches delivered by both Democratic and Republican presidential candidates over the past 30 years or so. What they found was that Democratic politicians, quote, used fewer competence-related words in speeches delivered to mostly minority audiences than they did in speeches delivered to mostly white audiences. In fact, Yale researchers said that they were stunned to find that nearly every Democratic politician fell into this predictable pattern over and over again. But the analysis also found that Republican candidates, on the other hand, spoke the same way to everybody. Oh, and it's not done yet. For the other part of their study, Yale presented a bunch of random white participants with two made-up people. One with the more generally white name Emily, and the other named Lakeisha. Researchers then asked participants to select from a list of words to include in an email to both fictional women. It turns out the participants who self-identified as liberal were more likely to use simpler words when talking to Lakeisha than Emily choosing basic terms like sad over ones like melancholy. On the other hand, Yale found that, quote, no significant differences were seen in the word selection of conservatives based on the presumed race of their partner. Now, Yale said that it's possible that liberals just want to come across as more likable, so they try to talk the way that they think their listeners would. But by doing so, researchers Cindy Dupree and Susan Fisk said that it's also likely that liberals are buying into the stereotype that minorities are less educated or intelligent than whites, saying that it actually ends up being far more patronizing than helpful. Even more disturbingly, Yale found that if they pointedly described the black person as highly intelligent beforehand, white liberals were less likely to dumb down their speech. Without this disclaimer, though, liberals are apparently pretty quick to assume that their black listener is a total moron. So now let's get this straight. Not only do liberals promote policies that keep minority communities stuck in vicious cycles of poverty and dependence, not only do they almost exclusively run major cities in which black communities had the same crappy quality of life that they did 50 and 60 years ago with no signs of looking up, and not only do they mock and ridicule any black person who dares to step outside their prescribed political box, now it actually turns out that they dumb down the way they talk to black people because they assume minorities are just too stupid to understand words with more than two syllables. But yeah, tell me again how conservatives are the real racists who think black folks are dumber than a sack of hammers. Uh-huh, sure. And that's your Reality Check America. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.